Arokanimon and Mamimon are one of Digimon's most famous evil duos. Present for both action and comedic scenes, together they performed a lot of different schemes that didn't always go as planned. Even though pairing a spider based on Greek mythology and a mummy from Egypt doesn't make a lot of sense visually or conceptually, these two were a great pair in the Zero Two anime who supported each other. At times, Mamimon was even mistreated by Arukanimon, but he didn't mind it. In this video we explore their evolution lines and the mythology that inspired their creation. Kodo Kugumon Baby is a baby level offspring of the Kugumon who move and attack in clusters of countless numbers. Kodo Kugumon Child is a growing Digimon that takes the form of a spider and lives in groups with the Kugumon. Usually they calmly curl up into a ball and hang from tree branches, but when an enemy approaches, they attack in groups from above. Since they are not yet able to generate powerful poison, they wear gloves with powerful poison in their claws. Their special attack is Poison Nail, in which they scratch the enemy with poisonous clawed gloves. The Kugumon is an adult-level cursed Digimon in the form of a spider, whose entire body is infected with a computer virus. Although the Kugumon was originally a spider type, this Digimon was just an ordinary and quiet insect, but one day it was caught in a storm of powerful electromagnetic waves and was infected by a computer virus that was flying around the network. Since then, the Kugumon has become a poisonous mass, called a computer virus that corrodes everything with just a touch. The Kugumon has the virus attribute and belongs to the nature spirits, nightmare soldiers and jungle troopers fields. No matter how hard someone tries to run away, the Kugumon will always cling to their backs and will not stop pursuing them until they become exhausted and stop walking. Then when the opponent is resting, the Kugumon finishes them off with a terrifying poisonous attack called Stinger Poweration, emitted from the ferocious fangs. Other attacks include Arachno Batoto, which is shooting a web thread, Poison Sting, and Spider Machine Gun, which is releasing a Kodo Kugumon baby at the opponent. Now we come to the Queen of all Spiders. It's important to note that Arukanimon's name is actually Arknimon, but was changed to Arukanimon due to Japanese phonetics. In the Japanese language, syllables end in vowels, with no clusters of consonants or consonants at the end of syllables. So a word like Christmas gets pronounced Kurisumasu, and in the same manner Arknimon becomes Arukanimon. I won't go into further details on this, but it's important to know for Arukanimon, because she's based on Arachne. Arachne, which literally translates from Greek to spider, is a protagonist from the epic poem Metamorphoses by a Roman poet Ovid. In the poem, a talented mortal Arachne challenged the goddess Athena to a weaving contest. Athena was known for her mastery of weaving, which made her the protectress of weavers and all handicrafts. Arachne produced a flawless tapestry, depicting gods in sexual adventures. Anchored by her skill and choice of subject, Athena beat the girl and tore her work to pieces. In despair, Arachne hung herself, after which Athena took pity on her and turned her into a spider. The story serves as a metaphor for spiders weaving webs, the weaving of stories, and the consequences of arrogance. Arukanimon is a demonic beast Digimon known as the Spider Queen. She is the queen who rules over all the Kugumon and is a highly intelligent and extremely cunning Digimon. She is good at transforming into a human-like form, and if someone lets down their guard, they will easily become her prey. Also, because she has a very short temper and ferocious personality, she is feared by many Digimon. Arukanimon has the virus attribute and belongs to the nature spirits, nightmare soldiers and jungle troopers fields. Her special attacks are Spider Thread, which cuts the enemy with sharp wires, and Predation Spider, which attacks the enemy with countless carnivorous Dokugumon hidden in her abdomen. Another attack is Acid Mist, which breeds out Acid Mist. Parasimon is a special ultimate level Digimon that cannot survive without parasitizing other beings, even though it is an ultimate level. Parasimon is weak alone, but when multiple Digimon come together, they can easily defeat any adult level Digimon. When Parasimon parasitizes the host Digimon, it is able to draw out their abilities to the limit and exhibit frightening power. It also has the property of amplifying the host's desires and exploiting their weaknesses. The existence of several other Parasite Digimon has been confirmed and their influence is thought to be the cause of the Digimon going berserk. Parasimon has the virus attribute and belongs to the Dark Area field. Its special attack is Electric Bind, in which it binds the enemy with its long tentacles and unleashes a powerful electric shock. Another attack is Digicabolic Steroid, which shoots a jet of slime from the mouth on its abdomen. 
Mamimon is an undead Digimon whose entire body is wrapped in bandages, resembling an Egyptian mummy. He's also known as the Necromancer because he summons and manipulates the spirits of defeated Digimon. It is hard to tell what he's thinking, since he's mostly silent and hides his facial expressions. But when he is attacked, he brandishes his weapon and completely crushes the enemy. When cornered, he is a dangerous being who will fire his favorite gun obelisk. Mamimon has the virus attribute and belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers field. His signature move is Snake Bandage, where the bandages on both arms stretch like snakes and grasp the enemy. His special attack is Necrophobia, which summons the spirits of the dead and causes the enemy to die in madness. Pheromon is an ultimate devil-type Digimon that shines in a fiendish golden light. As an evolved form of a mummy-type Digimon, he wielded absolute power and ruled over many areas in the ancient digital world. This power can be perceived from the many mysterious ancient ruins that dot the digital world, remnants of the time of the genesis of the digital world, when Pheromon took control of many Digimon and created those places in a matter of days. Pheromon has the virus attribute and belongs to the Nightmare Soldiers field. His special attack is Necro Mist, which emits a terrifying gas that steals the will of the opposing Digimon and gradually dries out their body. If someone receives this attack, there are only two options. They will be lured into the world of death or will die and serve Pheromon as an immortal. Arukanimon and Mamimon are both strong in their own ways. Arukanimon is more clever and cunning, while Mamimon rushes to get into physical confrontations. Both Arukanimon and Mamimon were created by Oikawa Yukio. He was a researcher who used his human DNA and data to create Arukanimon and Mamimon, who became his henchmen. Because of that, they had both a human and Digimon form, which they used depending on the situation. Arukanimon is a skillful flautist, and she is able to control insect-type Digimon with the sound of her flute through the vibrations in the air. This is present in the human world with moths and bats, as moths listen to the sound of bats in order to avoid them. But they don't just listen, moths also emit sounds that mix up with bat sounds to disorient their sense of direction. In the digital world, Digimon can counter Arukanimon's flute by distorting the sound if they know the correct wavelength to use. One of Arukanimon's most powerful abilities was to use her hairs to create Digimon from dark towers, creating many different forms, even multiple at once and at all evolution levels, to the point of her complaining of getting split ends. With one hair she created Golemon, who is at the adult level, with 10 she created Okuwamon, who is at the perfect level. Other Digimon she created included Thunderballmon, Snymon, Minotaurmon, Blossomon, Mamon and Nightmon. However, her biggest mistake, if you call it that, was using a hundred hairs to create one single Digimon, which resulted in Black War Greymon, an ultimate level Digimon, who, because of his immense power, was uncontrollable. In the end, both Arukanimon and Mamimon were tortured and killed by Belial Vamdemon. In Ghost Game, Arukanimon was just as villainous, as she lured in smart individuals so that she could eat their brain, but was viciously killed by Gulus Gamamon. In that same season, Mamimon was capturing humans to mummify them in order to give them eternal life, but when he was shown the error of his ways, he decided to help humans and Digimon as a doctor. How do you like Arukanimon and Mamimon and their evolutions? Which one is your favorite? Tell me in the comments below. If you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon or the Buy Me Coffee website. The links are in the description below. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Digimon videos. P.S. Make sure to follow my community page on YouTube, as I also post updates about upcoming videos there.